Today we're going to have a chat about something a little bit different. That's it. The IPL, it's been, uh, you know, Sunrise, uh, Sunrise Hyderabad, our team. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the Hyderabad team is going really well. I mean, they've been uh, awesome, haven't they, this year? I mean, really um, consistent. I mean, you look at how that uh, team has really gelled together over this over this, this IPL season. It's come together so well. And I really, I've really enjoyed watching it. At integral to our man, Kane Williamson. Absolutely. I mean, there, there's been a lot said about Kane recently in the sense that... Um, the type of player, you know, mm. you wouldn't look at him as just a straight out and out power hitter. Um, I think that's something that's been really highlighted. You know, he's accumulated a lot of 50s through this IPL. So uh, seven so far. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's scored 470 odd runs um, in, the, in the, the series. He's, he's got, um, he's really, really done extremely well. So the main thing I want to talk about is his ability to, to play a long innings in a, in a T20 and yes. accelerate his innings. That's correct. I mean, the last guy to really apply proper cricket shots to this kind of effect was Michael Hussey. Yes. And, I mean, it goes against the grain completely of what we've seen of just like out and out power hitters. That's exactly right. Do you yeah. think this is going to be a new generation of, of cricketers that look to play proper classical cricket shots at, as the spine of the T20 innings and then you've got the power hitters around them? I, I think so. I think that you actually do need in a side, you've got to have that guy that hangs around. Even in a T20 format, you know, you've got a lot of balls to play with, but it's really crucial that you've got a guy there that's solid, that's going, you know is going to get 30, 40, 50 runs, even though they've used up a few balls but they, you know, they might use up a few balls to start off with, but then they'll actually get get it together and then accumulate those runs um, mm. over their innings, and so um, that's massively contributing to um, a good score at the end. Uh, you do have to, have, you know, like it is a little bit different with Sunrise. They've got that really good bowling attack, so they do mm. have that uh, slightly different uh, balance. But um, because yeah. obviously their side had they haven't been winning games because of the outstanding betting. Obviously That's the loss right. of David Warner has, yes. has impacted yes. their betting lineup. But yes. when the rest everybody else has fallen apart, Cam Williamson's been there throughout. That, That's right, and uh, you've got a player that just um, yeah plays his shots nice and uh, um, fluid in the way that he plays. And really, uh, you know, he's scoring fours, twos, ones. He's not getting the big sixes that everyone's going going to try and hit all the time. Um, you know, he hits it up, but he's still playing within his um, um, repertoire. Mm. Um, so specifically, for that kind of batsman, what kind of bat would you usually make? Yeah, well that, that I think, yeah, is classic where he um, he's using a bat that's um, a nice balance, a nice um, um, sort of even balance through the bat, sort of a mid-sweet spot mm. um, uh, bat that's got a really good size edge on it. It obviously fits through the gauge, so it's a, it's a legal bat. And, uh, and it, it's got a really nice even balance um, through the profile, and uh, but about two pound eight, so really really light. You can mm. still manage it and still you know get there as nice and nice sort of compact sort of player and just gets uh, gets the ball nicely and needs that fast bat speed. So and really basically just, it's a high price on his wicket, so that it, you know his defence is, is very, very much so. And you've obviously so. got a really high level of performance with yeah. those bats yeah. as well. Yeah, very hard player to get out in that respect, mm. and so. Uh, you know, you find that players like that, when they do have a light about, they've got more control over what's going on, and uh, and that, that works. And so his bat just is nice. And you know, he's obviously, uh, um, you know, uh, he's got a nice bat that works well for him. Doesn't try and get too technical about um, that side of it. Just it's just good solid stuff. And you notice it with him when he gets on a roll, the bat usually doesn't change for a while. No, no, yeah. no and I think that's a sign with good players like that. Um, you know, their, their bat just is, is, um, the, stays the same. You know, I, mean, I remember, remember years ago, um, since Jazz Surya was uh, one of those players that springs to mind where he would go through bad patches of runs or whatever and just couldn't, couldn't score, but he'd never change his bat. Because he always said, if I change the bat, then I struggle to figure out um, where, where my groove is and can't get back into it. Mm. So, um, you know, I think so keep it as a constant, and then yeah. and then your mind is kind of focused on on the as a player. Yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, but obviously Kane Williamson, flavour of the month, and really just it's so cool to see him do so well in the IPL at the moment, and uh, you know really look forward to this next few games to see how they get on. Awesome. Yeah. That's it.